I'm preparing all the ingredients to make a strawberry shortcake coming soon. It's the afternoon on Saturday and I am in the process of making a, a Viennese um, sponge cake. It's from my favorite book, The Art of Viennese Pastries, and it's a very simple recipe. It goes in a pan, a springform pan, eight inch, and I have um, separated my eggs, six of those. I have my vanilla sugar, that's sugar that I keep a container with a vanilla bean in it. I have my one cup of twice sifted flour, my lemon rind, and I have my melty butter on the other mixer, which we'll go to in a little while. But here, I hope you can see it. My three gnomes are watching. When I get over to the first thing I'm going to do is going to add my whites into the mix master. And this is a KitchenAid. And I am going to mix them up until they are very nice and white and stiff. And I will start it and then I'll see you in a bit. Well, we finished doing the mixing and as you can see, it's nice and thick. See, the egg whites, it's holding its shape. So now I'm going to take this egg white and put it in a very big bowl, then put the egg yolks in this bowl and mix those up and then they get combined. So now I have the yolks in the, in the same bowl. I'm going to mix it with half of the sugar that I measured out and the other half was measured, um, that it was measured went into the egg whites. And we're going to start that. I just stopped the machine um, and it's the color of the yolk has gotten lighter in color and a bit thicker. So I'm now going to bring this over to the egg whites and fold them in together and uh, we'll see that process next. So we have the big bowl of the egg whites which are nice and fluffy and the idea of folding the yolks into it is to mix them thoroughly but not to lose the volume of the whipped, the beaten egg whites. So that's my next job and I have this large wooden spoon that I use for large tasks like this. So I'm going to fold it in. I'll show you a couple of folds and then I'll come back on the other side when I have to fold in the flour and the lemon and the butter. This has always been one of my favorite cakes to make. It's so versatile, you can do so many things with it. This is going to be a strawberry shortcake that I'm going to um, use as a subject for my watercolor class on Monday. Okay. So I'm going to just start it out and it, the folding is really basically that, taking from the bottom and bringing it to the top to the bottom and the top. Actually, I'm gonna stay with this spatula until I do the uh, flour and the other stuff. So I'll see you on the other side. So here we are, all the uh, whites and the yolks are pretty much together, a little bit um, of the white showing through, but you see how nice and lemony that is? And the next thing I'm going to be doing is gradually adding the flour to this mixture, not all at once, so it doesn't clump. You have to lightly put it in and then fold. Put it in and then fold. And that process continues until all the flour is mixed in. Now the last two things that go in is the lemon rind that I grated earlier. Uh, it's about a half, a little bit more than half of a lemon grated. And that gets fully folded in. 
and after that I fold in the melted butter and that gives it a nice lemony um, buttery flavor which is really a great cake okay. I'm going to pour in the butter and I will come back once I'm putting everything in the pan so everything's in the pan right now. The pan has been prepared with, um, rubbed with butter and some flour so that the um, cake will come out nicely when it's finished. As you can see, it's all nice and flat. This will go in the oven for three, at 350 degrees for about 50 minutes. The entire cake will not be finished today, but at least I have the most difficult part um, finished. Okay, so we'll see you a later time. Bye.